Hello guys! Welcome to Western Academy PH. It's Wenjay here and today we're going to discuss algebraic expressions and polynomials. So this is the fourth video on a video series on elementary algebra. And basically, magkaroon na tayo ng konting balik tanaw sa ating mga diniscuss nung nakaraang mga videos. Nung first video, nag-discuss tayo ng real number system. And then, uh, yun, diniscuss natin yung types of numbers na ma-encounter natin sa algebra. We, after that, we discussed yung operations on integers, no? Which is yung madalas natin ma-encounter sa algebra ng mga numbers. Kung paano mag-operate with those numbers. And then after that, operations on fractions, which are also rational numbers, paano mag-operate uh, regarding those. So, yun. Uh, basically, nung, naka, nung first three videos natin, nag-dwell tayo sa pag-aaral kung paano ba, uh, kung, ah, nagkaroon tayo ng background sa kung ano nga ba yung mga numbers na na-encounter natin sa algebra and kung paano, paano mag-manipulate and paano mag-simplify ng mga bagay-bagay regarding those numbers. So, ngayon, ay mag-uumpisa na tayo na medyo lumalim sa algebra. No? Parang ba, kumbaga, kung nung nakaraan, uh, bago mag-swimming, naglagay tayo ng sunblock, naglagay tayo ng goggles, naglagay tayo ng, ng mga preparations natin. Ngayon, papasok na tayo sa swimming pool at uh, talagang mag-uumpisa na tayo na talagang ma-discuss kung ano nga ba yung algebra. No? So, ito na. So, let's start, no? Without further ado, let's start this lecture video, no? So, so, for this one, again, I'll be discussing algebraic expressions and polynomials and also yung other terms, other concepts regarding algebra. For sure, ay matatakal din natin dito. Now, again, let's uh, recall yung definition natin ng algebra. Again, uh, as I said, sa first lecture video natin, algebra is the study of the mathematical symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols. So, meron tayong sa math, may mga symbols tayo na may encounter. And yung algebra yung nag-aaral dun sa mga... Uh, eh, ito yung uh, algebra, inaaral natin yung mga symbols na ito at kung paano sila uh, nag-work together. Mga rules kung paano sila i-manipulate, kung paano sila i-present in a graph or kung paano sila ma-apply into a problem or kung paano sila masisim para makakapag-simplify ng terms, ng expressions, and so on and so forth. So, yun yung algebra. Again, the study of symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols. So, ano nga ba yung mga mathematical symbols natin? No? So, ano yung mga symbols na natatakal natin? What do we manipulate in algebra, that's the question. And mostly, kadalasan ng mga minamanipulate natin sa algebra ay uh, we can manipulate constants, variables, expressions, and polynomials. So, uh, yung constants, uh, mabilisang ano lang, overview lang ng mga to, no? Magkaroon tayo ng overview dito. Yung constants, yan yung mga numbers na hindi nagbabago ng value. Same lang ang value. Fixed yung value. Yung variables, yan yung number na unspecified. Parang hindi natin alam kung ano yung numbers na yan. Hindi tayo sure kung ano yung numbers na yan. Kung ano yung value ng numbers na yan. Though, pwede rin, basta may value siya, pero hindi siya specified. Yung expressions naman, kapag pinaghalong mo tong constants and variables into some meaningful sort of arrangement or something, ang makukuha mo ay expressions. Now, yung polynomials naman is a special type of expression. So, basically, ang minamanipulate nga natin sa algebra ay ito, expressions and polynomials, and they're composed of constants and variables. So, I hope naging malinaw yan. No? So, syempre, meron din tayong operators, operations, meron din tayong iba't iba pang marami, marami pang symbols, pero ito ang nais kong ibahagi sa inyo na dapat nating tandaan na minamanipulate natin sa algebra, itong mga to. Now, Let's uh, let's proceed no with constants again as I said they're fixed values ano ano ba yung mga fixed values na to uh, actually real numbers they're all constants no anything so alibawa uh, bigi kayo number 3 okay 3 yung 3 ah bayan but red but kulay pala yung ano ko <laughs> okay for example 3 that's a fixed value. That's 3. That the value is 3. Uh, for example, uh, negative 10, that's a fixed value. That's a constant. Uh, ano ba, pi? Ano yung pi? 3.14159, blah, 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 blah. Mahabang number siya na may mahabang value. Is that a fixed value? Yes, it is. That's a constant. No? Anything that is fixed, you know that value. And you know that that value is really, yun talagang value na yun. So, 
uh, yan, constants yung mga yan. Basically, real numbers, they are all constants. No? Now, ano naman? Yung variables. Symbols which denote an unspecified value. So, paano natin nababasa yung mga variables na yan? No? Tanda natin, no? nung math natin, nung elementary tayo, kadalasan, puro numbers talaga. Di ba? Uh, agree naman kayo doon, puro numbers. Pero pagdating nung high school, pagdating ng grade 7, nag-umpisa na magkaroon ng mga letters, nag-umpisa na magkaroon ng mga iba-ibang symbols. At yung variables yung isa sa mga... Yung variables yung isa sa mga matatakal natin na bagong symbol sa algebra. So, yung variables, kadalasan, nade-denote yan with letters, no? X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, any letter, no? Itong mga symbols kasi na to, pag pinasok mo yan sa algebra, may, may iba na yung ibig sabihin, eh. Meron yung unspecified value na tinutukoy. Itong mga X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, may mga values sila na hindi nila sinasabi, pero may values pala sila. So, minsan, yun pa nga hinahanap natin, eh. Kung ano yung number, ng, kung ano yung value ng variable, eh. May, may uh, merong parts sa algebra na hahanap-hanapin natin ang value ng variable. Okay? So, so, ito yung symbols nga nang denote ng unspecified value. So, hindi naman porket uh, itong mga letters na ito yung nilagay ko dito, yun lang ang pwede. Actually, lahat. Greek letters. Mga ganyan. Lahat yan symbols na pwede mag-denote ng uh, anong value. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, etc. And even yung mga symbols as heart, uh, like heart, diamond, pwede yung gamitin as variables. Pero talaga, ito talaga yung mga basically madalas gamitin. Uh, alphabet, letters of the alphabet, Greek letters, and so on. No? So, we'll dwell on that on the future videos. So, yun yung variable natin. Expressions, as I said earlier, meaningful collection nung mga sinabi ko kanina, variables, constants, and then samahan mo pa yan ng grouping symbols. Yung ano yung grouping symbols? Yan yung mga parentheses, yung mga brace, uh, ba't yun yung brace ko? Brace, bracket, mag nawa na gugrupo ng mga ano mga terms uh, yan kasama pag pinagaluhalo mo yung mga yan pati yung mga signs of operations like plus minus uh, divide uh, or uh, multiply yan yung mga yan pag pinagaluhalo mo yan together with variables and constants makakabuo ka ng expressions malinaw ba malinaw na malinaw now uh, ito, example ng isang expression, no? We have 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. So, why is this an expression? We have a constant right here. 1 is a constant. We have operating symbols right here, operations, plus and minus. We have variables right here. Yung number sa unahan ng variable, ang tawag dyan, coefficient. Itong variables na to, itong tawag naman dito sa nasa taas nitong x na to, tawag dyan i power, or tawag dyan, in-raise sya sa isang power, sa isang exponent. So, that's an exponent. And then, ito yung mismong variable natin. And then, ito coefficient din. So, basically, as you can see, pinagsama-sama syang constant, coefficient, exponent, uh, variable variable and then meron din tayong ano to uh, gumulo na yung sulat ko no? pero maintindihan nyo yan ito yung operating symbols pinaghalo-halo natin sila at makakakuha tayo na expressions so it's some sort of they are expressed in some way uh, they're uh, mixed in some way you can get expressions with them. Now, ano yung terms? Yung terms naman, yung uh, parts of an algebraic expression which are separated by a plus and minus sign. And maybe a number, variable, or a mixture of both. So dito, ano yung mga, uh, tingnan natin yung mga plus and minus sign. Ito yung plus and minus signs natin. Yung mga parts of an algebraic expression separated by a plus and minus sign, yun yung terms. So therefore, we have this one as our first term, this one as the second term, this one as the third term. So, yung mga napapagitan ng mga plus and minus sign, yun yung mga terms. So, terms may be a, a number variable or a mixture of both. As you can see, this one is a mixture of numbers and variables. 4x squared, it has a number and a variable. 3x has a number and a variable. And this one, 
as only a number. So anything na napapagita, napapagitnaan ng mga plus and minus sign terms yon. And actually, kahit walang plus and minus sign, for example, we have 5x. Yan, 5x. Expression niya. Expression na yan. Isang term na yan. So, meron, yan, ito yung isang expression na may one term. Okay? So, yun ang terms. Isang example pa nito. Ilang terms meron to? We have two terms. This is the first term. This is the second term. Ito naman. Ilang terms ang meron to? Ang daming variables. <laughs> Uh, one term lang yan. Kasi nga, yan. One term yan. Ito naman. Ilang terms meron to? So, in this case, dami, ano na din, medyo magulo na siya, no? Ito, in this case, this is the first term, this is the first, this is the second term. And, napapagitnaan siya, napapagitnaan siya ng isang plus sign. So, yan yung first term, yan yung second term. And then, ito ay considered as one term lang, no? Okay? Now, we have discussed yung concepts natin behind algebra. Now, we have discussed yung, we have discussed your constants, your variables, and expressions. Now, uh, sa algebra kasi, marami tayong problems na sinosolve. May mga word problems tayong, uh, mayroong mayroon mga tanong dyan na, Uh, nakasalit, nakaparagraph form, naka-essay. Tapos, ano, tapos, mula dun sa essay na yun, mula dun sa word question na word problem, yun yung tawag sa kanya, word problem, mula sa word problems, i-convert mo sa expression. So, ngayon, ang gusto ko lang ay maturuan kayo kung paano i-translate yung mga verbal phrases or yung mga word problems, yung mga uh, phrases na naka-word form uh, into uh, mathematical expressions. Now, Ito yung mga common phrases. Kapag sinabing plus, more than, increased by, sum of, total to, of, added to, mukha naman silang uh, addition, di ba? Kasi plus, add. Basta pag uh, narinig nyo yung uh, nabasa nyo, yung cues na sinasabi na dadagdagan siya, no? na depende na yun sa vocabulary nyo, no? So, we also need some vocabulary right here, English vocabulary sa ating algebra. So, kailangan din hasa, hasa kayo sa vocabulary. Pag napansin yung Uh, gusto mag-add ng tao Gusto mag-add ng problem Addition yon Ito naman pag minus Minus less than decreased by Difference of uh, Total of but may total of dun? I'm not sure about that uh, Subtracted from Subtraction yun So now uh, Sa multiplication we have times We have multiplied by We have product of So Yan yung mga terms, ay yung mga, ano natin, mga phrases natin for multiplication. For division, we have divided by ratio of, quotient of. So, bakit ratio and quotient? Yung ratio is like, yung, uh, as, you, as we discussed before, yung elementary ratio ay, uh, is uh, something by something. Something is to something. So, division ang involved na operation doon. As a quotient then division din ang involved na operation doon. So, itong total of, i-disregard nyo muna yan. Uh, let's proceed with yung pag-translate natin sa examples. Kapag the product of x and y, you know, uh, pag narinig yung product, no, that's a part of a multiplication. So, therefore, that's x, y. Okay, so yung sum of x and 5, that's x plus 5. And then y decreased by 9. Si y daw, binawasan natin ng sum. y minus 9. And then, ito naman, x divided by 2. That's x. Hinati natin siya sa dalawa. A number decreased by 3. Ay, sorry. Increased by 3. Isang number dinagdagan ng tatlo. So, a number. Pag sinabing a number, you can use any variable. You can denote any number. So, unspecified value as we discussed a while ago. Something that is unspecified, that's a variable. So, you can use any variable. Pwede kang gumamit ng kahit anong variable. Kahit ano pa yan. For example, uh, common variable, x. x decre uh, increased by 3. x plus 3. So, yan. Yeah. Na naman, 3 times a number, and that product decreased by 5. So, 3 times some number, for example, A. For example, a number, uh, that number, that variable is A. And then, yung product daw na ito, since yan ay isang product, babawasan natin ng 5. So, that's 3A minus 5. Okay? Now, this one naman. 3 times the sum of X and 3. So, pag you investigate this, the sum of X and 3 is x plus 3, and then 3 times daw nung sum na yan. 
tatlong beses nung sum na yan. So, you would put a grouping symbol on X and, the sum of X and 3 and you would write 3 right here. So, 3 more than a number, that's 3. Dadagdagan mo ng Ang uh, dadagdagan mo ng tatlo yung isang number Kahit anong number yan uh, Kinapol B plus 3 And then 4 less than a number So babawasan mo daw ng 4 Yung isang number so, so for example C minus 4 Okay so Malino ba? I hope na malinaw So we have discussed translating Verbal express uh, verbal phrases to expression So that would be also useful uh, Remember din na hasain yung vocabulary nyo So algebra is not just about numbers and the uh, really variables it's also about some may vocabulary rin involved analysis skills no problem solving skills na talaga naman kailangan natin when, when we go forth and uh, work sa uh, whenever we tackle yung mga uh, math related na uh, math related na fields na papasukan natin sa future if ever you are interested in uh, working in a math related na field now Polynomials naman, ito naman, so tapos na tayo, we discuss yung expressions and yung mga stuff na yun. Ngayon, yung uh, polynomials, ano naman yung polynomials? Yung polynomials, they are a special kind of algebraic expression. So, they are also algebraic expressions. So, pag sinabing polynomials, lahat yan, expressions. Pero lahat ba ng expressions, polynomials? No. Actually, meron kailangang masatisfy yung isang expression bago siya makonsider as a polynomial. So, it has the following characteristics. Ang isang expression na isang polynomial, kapag, una, meron siyang real number coefficients. So, again, yung coefficients, sinabi natin kanina, yun yung nasa unahan ng variable, yung number na nasa unahan ng variable. So, dapat real number daw yan. First, uh, first na condition. Second condition, all variables of the polynomial are raised to a whole number. Lahat ng variables ng polynomial, yung exponent daw nila ay whole number. Whole number. What do you mean by a whole number? Uh, as we discussed sa real number system, sa first lecture video natin, ang whole number is counting numbers. So, yung mga pinambibilang natin na numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. Plus 0. So, 0 and those counting numbers. Na ngayon, uh, yung variables daw ng polynomials natin, ang variables ng isang expression, kapag ito ay raised sa isang whole number, uh, yun, isa pa yun sa mga criteria na dapat ma-meet uh, para, ma para ma-consider yung isang expression as a polynomial. And another condition is that the operations performed by variables are only limited to addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Ano yung pansin yung wala dito? Division. So, kapag uh, polynomial siya, bawal tayong magkaroon ng uh, variable sa ilalim. Bawal tayo magkaroon na ba yan? 4 over x. Hindi na yung polynomial kasi nga hindi ka pwede mag-perform ng division gamit ang polynomial. Okay? So, hindi tayo pwede mag-divide mag -divide by a polynomial. Okay? Now, so, these are examples of polynomials. So, as you can see, 2x squared plus x plus 1 na-satisfy na lahat ng conditions. We have a real number coefficients for may, may real number coefficients tayo. In this case, 2 and 1, yung coefficients natin. Yung lahat ng variables natin ay nakarace sa positive, uh, I mean, sa whole numbers. No? They are raised sa whole numbers. And then, lahat ng operations natin, wala tayong uh, division operation na ginamit. Na gina, uh, wala tayong polynomials na ginamit for division. So, this is a polynomial. And this one, 3x raised to 5 is also a polynomial. Why? Dahil din nakasatisfy niya lahat ng conditions. And even si 5, if you would investigate yung mga conditions na sinabi ko kanina, all of, yung si 5, nasasatisfy niya lahat ng conditions na yun. Okay? So, yun, no? So, itong mga to ay mga examples ng polynomials. Ngayon, ano yung mga hindi polynomials? Ano yung mga expressions na hindi polynomials? Etong as you can see, this one, 5 raised to x plus x raised to 1 half is not a polynomial. Why? Because polynomials cannot contain variable exponents. Yun ang usap. Hindi tayo pwede mag-perform ng, ayun nga, ng division sa polynomials. Ito, ito pa ang isa. Hindi rin tayo pwede mag-perform. Hindi rin natin pwede ipang-raise sa isang power yung, yung variables natin. So, si x ay hindi mo pwede gawing power. So, yan. Cannot contain a variable exponents. And, yung variables 
can only be raised to whole numbers. So this one is not a whole number. What's that? That's a rational number. So laging lang na yung mga variables natin ay sa, sa whole numbers mo lang pwede erase. Ano pa ang hindi polynomial? Etong 3 over x plus 2. Why? Polynomials actually can contain fractions. Uh, the thing here is, yung uh, hindi natin, yung nga, sabi ko kanina, hindi natin pwede gamitin si polynomial na ipang divide sa isang number. Okay, so it shouldn't be in the denominator. Pag may nakita kayong variable sa denominator, that's not a polynomial. That's simply an expression. Now, itong 2x raised to 2, negative 2, plus 3x plus 1, hindi din to isang polynomial. Why? As you can see, this variable, ni raise mo siya sa negative 2. Ano ba yung negative 2? Whole number ba yun? Hindi siya whole number. That's what we call an integer. So, hindi siya whole number. And, uh... In, uh, integer lang siya, negative integer pa siya, in fact. Uh, hindi, siya pwede ma hindi, hindi mo pwede erase sa isang negative number nga ang isang variable uh, sa isang polynomial. Okay? Now, ito pa isa, cosine x. Hindi rin pwede magkaroon ng special functions, hindi rin pwede mapaloob sa special functions or trigonometric functions yung variables natin. Therefore, polynomials, pag nakita kayo ng special functions na ganyan, that's not a polynomial. Okay? So, Yun yung mga hindi, matuturing natin na hindi polynomial. At ito naman yung special types of polynomials. We have first, kapag 1 lang yung term, again, na-discuss natin yung term kanina, kung ano ba yung term kanina. And kapag 1 yung term, isang term lang. Uh, for example, 5x. That's a monomial. Binomial, we have two terms. For example, x plus 4 we have two terms right there. That's a binomial. Ito namang trinomial. We have three terms. For example, x squared plus 2x plus 3. That's a trinomial because we have three terms. And lahat ng, lahat ng ano na to, nasatisfy nila yung uh, conditions na binigyan natin kanina. So, yan yung special types of polynomials. Monomial, binomial, trinomial. So, and let me discuss another thing. Yung standard form ng isang polynomial. Kap ang standard form ng isang polynomial ay kapag naka-order yung uh, tag dito, yung exponents ng variables in highest to highest to lowest order. So, ito nga. For example, itong x squared plus 2x plus 3. That's a standard. That's in standard form. Okay? So, pinapiwan ko lang yan. We will uh, also discuss that for probably for uh, for our, another lecture video. So, Yon, no? So, ano naman yung degree ng isang polynomial? So, yung highest exponent ng polynomial, yun yung degree niya. So, dito sa case na to, 2x squared plus x plus 1, anong highest exponent niya? 2. So, anong degree niya? Second degree. Okay? Now, ito naman, 3x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed plus 10x squared minus x plus 4. Anong highest exponent na nakita mo? So, kung papansin nyo, naka-standard form pa yan, no? in order of decreasing yung uh, exponents nila. So, in this case, anong highest degree, uh, anong highest exponent nito? 5. So, that's 5th degree or simply degree 5 polynomial. Now, uh, these are the special terms na magandang alam natin sa isang polynomial. Kapag ang polynomial ay nasa 1st degree, ang tawag dyan ay isang linear polynomial. Kapag naman nasa 2nd degree, Ang tawag dyan ay quadratic polynomial. Sa third degree, ang tawag dyan ay cubic. And then sa fourth degree, ang tawag dyan ay quartic. Yung first degree polynomial or yung linear polynomials ay uh, kadalasan na ginagamit natin sa pag-describe ng quantities na nagbabago at a steady rate. So, ginagamit dyan kadalasan sa mga one-dimensional geometry problems natin involving length. Now, yung second degree polynomial, yung quadratic, ginagamit yan to describe the quantities that change with some amount of acceleration or deceleration. Ang ginagamit natin yan sa mga two-dimensional geometry problems involving area. And, uh, yun. Sa third degree, yung cubic polynomials, ginagamit yan sa three-dimensional geometry problems or problems involving volume. And then, sa fourth degree, yung quartic, uh... May applications pa yan na hindi na natin ganong i-discuss. Pero basically, kapag patas na patas yung degree ng polynomial, nadadagdagan tayo ng dimensions. No? So, 
ayan, no? So, yun ang isang cool uh, thing na malaman sa polynomials, no? So, anyway, yan yung mga degrees ng polynomials. So, magandang alam natin yung applications ng bawat isa sa mga yan. No? So, na-discuss ko naman yan. Ayan yung fourth degree. Uh, these are used sa mga four-dimensional problems natin. So, maganda na yan, may grasp tayo sa mga uses ng mga bawat degrees na yan. And soon enough, if you really pursue something related to math, you'll dwell on uh, those uh, degrees of polynomials. You'll, do, you'll dwell with those applications. Now, yan, no? So, that's it for this lecture video. Again, for this lecture video, we have discussed yung concepts ng uh, constants and variables and then yung expressions, which is really a mixture of cons a meaningful collection or mixture of constants and variables together with grouping symbols and operational symbols. And then polynomials, we discussed that as those as a special type of expression which satisfies some conditions and then na discuss din natin yung mga concepts regarding polynomials basically sa video na ito ay ano ang dami nating natutunan no? ang dami nating nalaman tungkol sa polynomials and uh, i think na uh, magandang start to no etong video na ito to really uh, expose yourself sa mga uh, mga important uh, concepts regarding algebra and now for our next lecture video no we will be learning on how to add and subtract polynomials we'll be starting to operate with polynomials and how to manipulate them and then ayan thank you very much for watching this lecture video i hope you learned from this god bless and i'll see you on the next one Thank you very much for watching this video lecture made by Wisdom Academy PH. If you want to join our mission of providing high-quality educational videos for all Filipinos free of charge, then please consider supporting Wisdom Academy PH by contributing or donating to the following accounts. Kung interesado naman kayo maging parte ng aming organisasyon bilang isang volunteer educator, upang makapagbahagi at makapagturo sa mga taong nangangailangan, then please proceed to this link. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up. And if you want more educational videos like this, then please subscribe to Wisdom Academy PH and hit the notification bell for more updates. Watch and learn. God bless and see you on the next one.